Recent storms have weakened cliffs along North County's coastline. This is not average for normal years. Encinitas lifeguard captain Larry Giles keeps a close eye on the cliffs at Beacons Beach. Right behind me here we have some uh, Torrey sandstone um, boulders have detached um, from the bluff. Um, it's been getting a lot of groundwater, a lot of surf, and with the heavy rains, all this combined and just, you know, age and wear and tear, it's, it's coming down. As he drives around, Giles warns beachgoers of the dangers. How we doing? Good. Hey, just to let you know, we've been having a lot of cliff collapses. Oh, yeah. And you guys are in like the most probably <laughs> dangerous spot I've seen today. You're in such an area where if something were to happen, there's probably no tomorrow for you. Oh, yeah. so. But cliff erosion is all part of the natural cycle that replenishes beach sand. The huge seawalls that private property owners have erected to protect their homes is part of the reason beach sand that gets washed away in winter storms is not being replenished. We put up a protective berm, but where you see these cobblestone layers are, that's usually down well below the normal beach sand that we have. And with these swells, it's come in and it's eaten away, I basically eroded away this beach. This year's storms have already removed more sand than usual, in some cases exposing the ribs of the beach, the bedrock that is seldom exposed. In Oceanside, some of the beach is completely down to cobblestone. And on the Strand, the waves break right over the road during king tides, flooding construction of new condos. Oceanside does not take sea level rise into account when granting permits for new ocean prank condos like these. These sensors are going to be measuring the water depth and the height of waves. But Bob Guza of Scripps right Institution now, of Oceanography says places that flood intermittently now could find themselves flooded on a daily basis in the long term. He thinks this winter's king tides and El Nino storms give us a glimpse into the future. The reason I say that is because sea level is higher during El Nino because of the wind patterns and because the water is warmer. So the water level is higher maybe 15 or 20 centimeters. Well, that might be the equivalent of, depending on sea level rise, of 30 or 40 or 50 years of sea level rise. Guza and his team are burying sensors to collect data on beach erosion. His focus is on areas where millions of dollars have been spent on sand replenishment projects. Encinitas and Solana Beach both got thousands of cubic yards of extra sand when Sandag spent $28 million on beefing up beaches with sand in 2012. Clearly the question of does it last two years or 20 years is very relevant to is it worth doing. This little orange cart uses GPS to measure sand movement in Encinitas to within two centimeters. But Gusa says the scientific models for measuring sand erosion are imprecise still, so it's hard to reach conclusions. Solana Beach has perhaps the most vulnerable sandstone cliffs in Southern California. Armoring them has not helped the eroding sand on beaches. Lifeguard Captain Craig Miller says the beach can lose eight to 10 feet of sand in winter. Anecdotally, he says the 2012 sand replenishment project made a big difference. A lot of us were skeptical because there is no sand retention devices here. Um, and one good storm like this would have probably taken a lot of that sand away the first year but it ended up sticking around. We still have sand on the north side of the cove here from that replenishment project. There's very little left, but there's still a little bit left. But Sandag is still collecting data and has no plans for more sand replenishment projects costing millions of dollars. The Army Corps of Engineers last year did approve a 50-year sand replenishment program for Encinitas and Solana Beach beginning in 2017, but that would cost $135 million and the money has not yet been found. Sea level along Southern California's shores could rise, according to the state's best estimate, by as much as a foot in the next 15 years and up to two feet by 2050. Beaches are more than just beautiful, they protect the land. Bob Guza says it's going to take major investments to protect those beaches. Build a highway, you have to maintain it. It falls apart if you don't maintain it. We're in a situation with beaches, if you don't maintain them, they're gonna go away. Alison St. John, KPBS News.